Well, it's finally getting to be that time of year where we wake up and it's in the 70s, so I might be able to do some testing pretty soon. Hey, how you guys doing? Today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to mount the Coyote onto the ZR1. A couple of days ago, I got an email from a guy uh, and I mentioned it on one of the live streams. He's like, hey, somebody already tried to Coyote swap a C7 Corvette. It's been a couple of years since they've done anything, so it looks like they've hit a roadblock, or maybe they're just not motivated, or they don't know the right people. But one thing that they did do is that they mocked up the motor mount, and it seems like the LS9 motor mount, or the C6 uh, motor mount, seems to line up with the front two holes, the ones closest to the timing chains, and maybe this correct angle that bolts to the actual mount itself on the body. And I was like, well, that's probably something I should try out because it's easy. Right now I'm still waiting for headers to come in and once the headers do come in, I'm hoping they come in. I don't know, I'm assuming they're gonna come in. If not, I'll just get some shorty headers or I'll get them from Jake at Power by the Hour. But I'm assuming that they're coming from Ultimate Header, but maybe, maybe I, I'm assuming too much and I should follow up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can mount the motor and see uh, about finagling everything in place and see how far it falls from the torque tube um, bell housing and see if I get lucky with the front two mounts. Okay, so obviously this is the stock LS9 motor mount. It actually goes like this. Yes, it goes like that because it mounts to the body and with a big like 21 millimeter or whatever 18 it's it's good size and these uh bolt to the motor but the fact that these two bolts are eerily similar to and this bolt pattern this versus this is eerily similar to the coyote pattern now obviously there's a distance issue but that's because the mount on the k member on the s197 is further out so you have this length so what i'm hoping is that the mount it's is narrower but the angles are similar so what i'm hoping is that the angles are similar and that that bolt lines up whoa that's crazy how that cast mark is there right so if that <clears throat> oh that, that's going to be a problem it's going to have to be like this uh. So what I'm hoping is that everything lines up. I don't think it'll line up. I think I would have gotten insanely lucky if that lines up. But um, I'll see if this mounts on the motor itself and, and and see how it differs from the body. Because the bottom of the car is not any – the bottom of the motor on the LS9 is not any uh, wider than the um, Coyote. The top is where the Coyote gets really fat because of the cylinder heads. So the more you look at it, the more you know you're going to run into cowl uh, issues. So right there, that area is going to be tough to, even with the LS9, you see all those scratches, that's from the lid being taken off and all this stuff. So it, it was a nightmare to work on uh, getting the back two bolts. But um, I mean, that's par for the course. If I can reach it, obviously you can't take that part out. It looks like it's, it's in there, in there. But uh, I'm going to have to find a setup that, you know, doesn't have too much. Uh, no, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Like it, the intakes don't come straight down. You can kind of finagle them in. The problem is if it is a positive displacement supercharger, then yeah, you, you might have issues on the backside here. So you can't, you can't space this too far forward because the motor mount's going to determine what's what. But hey, uh, I'm just going to chug on uh, it. Uh, look. Call me crazy. If this thing has to get turbos in order to run a stock manifold up top, it gets turbos. I don't care. I don't care. At this point, it's just a chassis. And I've always said I wanted a twin turbo death trap Cobra. So I might have a twin turbo death trap Coyote Swap ZR1. I don't care if it's difficult. I don't care if nobody wants to help. I'll get it done because that's kind of where I'm at right now. So, okay. I'm just kind of looking at it real quick preliminarily so you guys can get a sense of what I'm dealing with. But, I mean, there's room. You know, just... There's room. So let me uh, see if I can mount the motor mount. I'm going to try to sneak it in through here. See that mount right there? That These two bolts, boom, boom. I'm hoping line up. This is the other Coyote bull pattern. Let me see what the other side looks like. Uh-huh. So yeah, it, it, it kind of, it, sorry, lower. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, looks like it, it, it might need some spacing 
So let me get to working on it and see if anything lines up at all. Okay, one of the few things that I noticed, and because these are Gen 3, again, these are Gen 3 cam covers, so they, they have little protrusions and different things that Gen 2 have. And right now, it's hitting on the brake booster. Now, I have two bolts lined up, which is blowing my mind, okay? That motor mount is on the body mount. I have one bolt on over here, but I need to, sort of, <laughs> I need to tilt the engine, and the problem is, this is in the way. Now I could cheat, take this off, but if I can make it fit with this in, I know for a fact I can make it fit with the Gen 2 or Gen 1 cam cover because the Gen 1, Gen 2 is a lot shallower. So when you take this guy out, it doesn't have all that bullshit. See, it's flat, it's nice. Again guys, this is why I say Gen 1, Gen 2 architecture is better than anything because it just lends itself to proper fitment and uh, that's why I think Gen 3 is not something I would ever go with on a swap just because of the high pressure fuel pump and all the other bullshit but fitment, height, everything is just better on Gen 1 and Gen 2. I don't always get lucky but the gods must be smiling. So LS9 motor mount on the body on a Coyote block kind of sort of fits. So literally Mimic the LS9 motor mount, incorporate the Coyote bolt pattern on both sides, make the holes slightly more slotted or bigger, just so that you can have, you know, clearance and doggone it. I know, look it. What the hell's happening? It's lining up. We have an LS9 motor mount bolted to a coyote on the body mount. Let's see if I can get a good angle. Anyway, let's see if I can do it from here. She's on the body, she's down, you know? It's not like it's hanging up anywhere. So as you can see, the bolt's a little crooked, but generally, it seems like it's gonna work. Mounts on the body, stock stuff. Fits the first two bolts, so then I have to figure out about making mounts to fit the rest, which I can literally take this template here, probably, and just transfer it over to something. Then, go ahead and figure out a plate for this guy, as you can see. <clears throat> it's gotta make up a little bit, and then I gotta see how much stick out of anything, but it's looking promising, one step at a time. I'll, I can only work on this car on the weekends because I have a full-time job and I work 40 plus hours a week, so apologies if you don't get an update every day, but, this is the best I could do because I'm by myself. That'll happen next week sometime. But um, again, it's gonna be slow progress, so I hope you guys are patient with it, but I'm gonna give you the long stroke on this car because that's all I can do. I kinda have to hang tight and see one step at a time. Motor mounts fit, done. I just have to slot them a little bit um, when I make the uh, permanent ones and then match up the Coyote block bolt pattern. The what else was that? Oh, then the big one is the bell housing. The bell housing slash spacer. So that's gonna be the big one. Oh, and the headers, correct. The headers next week. So headers next week. Hopefully you guys get a video of headers next week. And then after that, we'll see about spacer. That's gonna take a while, but I'm already contacting many people that are in the know and whatever they need, I'll, I'll get them, but I need this done ASAP. I don't like waiting around. I don't like taking months on shit. I'm gung-ho on this and I'm selling the LS9, Kong port, injectors, Everything that had to do with the motor on this car, it's gonna get sold. I am committed to now Coyote swapping this car. So, I think the spacer can get made, motor mounts fit, I think the headers will fit. It's just a matter of now control pack, a bunch of wiring that some people have said that they will help with, but uh, hopefully I'll get you guys weekly updates on the Corvette, but for now, motor mounts for the LS9 fit the Coyote. Thanks for listening, guys. Talk to you later.